to the final showdown at the High Tech Zone Sports Center. China and Indonesia crossing swords again. It's only the second time in history that these two juggernauts are contesting the two finals in the same edition. The first singles was billed as the Clash of the Titans, as Shi Yiqi and Anthony Sinisuka Ginting took to the court. Shi, who led 8-2 in the head-to-head, -head, laid down an early marker. Ginting held firm and reeled off five straight points. Nice. But this casual return gifted Shu a four-point advantage. And a neat drop shot to clinch the first game. Shu brimming with confidence now, and Ginting was like a deer caught in the headlights. And then plays the cross-court winning smash. Xu with an easy 21-17, 21-6 victory as China got off to a roaring start. Kudos to Xu, who has played the captain's role with utter conviction all week. The first doubles matchup was also an Asia Championships rematch. Liang Weikeng and Wang Chang outlasted Faja Alfian and Mohamed Rian Adrianto last month en route to winning the men's doubles title. The Indonesian tandem led by four points at the midway point. But that was whittled down as Liang and Wang woke up from their slumber. Down 18-17, the Chinese scooped four unanswered points to take the first game. Fajar and Rian are filling the void left behind by the legendary Muhammad Hassan Hendra Setiawan. And the daddies will be proud of the tenacity shown. The business end of the rubber game was a treat for oh, the neutrals. Oh, oh. How on earth did the Chinese pair win that rally? Both pairs got into big rallies, and the playmaking was simply sublime. Oh, they've left it, and it's landed in. What drama! What excitement! And how about this for a dramatic ending? Oh, you missed it! Fajar's forehand was called in, but Liang and Wang challenged the call. And they were right, as the shuffle landed just millimeters outside the line. 2 0 China. Jonathan Christie had to win now to keep Indonesia's hopes alive as he went up against Li Shifeng. Good shot. The contest also required a decider, and an unwavering Jonathan played the baiting game patiently. That neat placement shot at the net put him up by six points. Jonathan tanged Li in last month's Asian Championships to win the singles final. And he certainly proved his mettle in closing out Lee once more. China's champagne put on ice as Indonesia pulled one back. Despite that mini setback, China was still very much on the ascendancy. He Jiting and Wen Xiangyi upped the ante early, and it paid off handsomely. Oh my word! What a smash! Mohamed Shahibul Fikri and Bagat Maulana, who had won two and lost one so far, looked dispirited. That's an extraordinary shot. Her and Run brought the energy and rhythm with them, and it was no surprise they grabbed the opener. Opening game in favour of China. Locked at 7 all, Her and Run went on a monumental run to go up 13-8. And this brilliant turnaround backhand smash was the icing on the cake.
China reached the mountaintop once again as they captured the Thomas Cup for the 11th time. And remarkably, they also now hold the Sudirman Cup, the Uber Cup and the Thomas Cup concurrently for the first time since 2012.